Hi, welcome to another episode of China Record. The United States has recently reached a deal with the Netherlands and Japan regarding the restriction of exports of advanced chip-making machinery to China. This includes advanced lithography tools, which are critical components in the production of semiconductors. The agreement will extend some of the export controls that the U.S. put in place in October 2022 to companies in the Netherlands and Japan, including leading lithography firm ASML Holding NV, Nikon Corp, and Tokyo Electron Limited. While the U.S. government has claimed progress in its so-called chip alliance, experts believe that the latest moves and any potential containment will not effectively beat down China's semiconductor industry. Despite mounting pressure from the U.S., Chinese tech giants such as Huawei are continuously making breakthroughs in chip technology and ramping up efforts to achieve self-reliance. Well, in this context, this episode will provide a historical overview of the U.S.-China semiconductor rivalry and its implications, as well as a future perspective on China's advancements in the industry. The semiconductor industry has been at the forefront of technological advancements in recent years and has been the driving force behind the growth of the global economy. However, with the rise of China as a major player in the industry, tensions have been rising between the country and the United States. The latest development in this ongoing feud is the reported deal between the US, the Netherlands, and Japan to restrict exports of advanced chip-making machinery to China. The US has been exerting increased pressure on its allies to join its tech war against China, which it claims is aimed at preventing China from acquiring advanced technologies and achieving technological self-reliance. The Biden administration has repeatedly mentioned its so-called chip alliance over the past year, but little progress had been made. The recent deal with the Netherlands and Japan extends some of the export controls the US adopted in October 2022 to companies in these two countries including ASML Holding NV, Nikon Corp, and Tokyo Electron Limited. The semiconductor industry in China has seen rapid growth in recent years, driven by the country's investments in technology and manufacturing capabilities. In recent years, the Chinese government has made a major push to build up its domestic semiconductor industry in part to reduce dependence on foreign suppliers. The government has provided subsidies and incentives for domestic chip companies to invest in research and development, and has also encouraged the formation of partnerships between domestic firms and international players. The United States has a long history in the semiconductor industry, with some of the world's largest and most technologically advanced chip companies based in the country. The U.S. is home to a number of major semiconductor manufacturers, including Intel, Qualcomm, and TSMC. The industry has been a key driver of U.S. technological and economic growth and continues to be an important part of the U.S. economy. The U.S. push toward tech decoupling, with China is happening at a faster pace than many anticipated and is designed to draw all of its allies into its tech war against China. However, Experts say that this latest move, as well as any potential future containment, will not beat down China. Despite the U.S. multi-year unilateral crackdowns, the Chinese semiconductor industry has been developing at a fast pace, especially in terms of the mass production of 28 nanometer chips. The Chinese semiconductor sector has withstood the U.S. pressure and is making all efforts to achieve breakthroughs in core technologies for self-reliance. Netherlands-based lithography firm ASML has said that the latest measures will not have a material effect on the company's announced expectations for 2023. ASML will continue to engage with the authorities to assess the impact of any proposed rules on the global semiconductor supply chain. The two other companies, Nikon and Tokyo Electron, have not yet replied. Given their massive revenue from the Chinese market, the Netherlands and Japan, as well as their companies, are unlikely to comply with the U.S. order to curb sales of chip machinery to China. The global semiconductor industry embodies broad collaboration and global division of labor, 
and China is already the world's largest semiconductor consumption market. According to data from industry body Semi, sales of semiconductor equipment in the Chinese mainland reached $29.62 billion in 2021, accounting for almost 29% of the global market. Despite the U.S. efforts, China's semiconductor sector has been developing fast. The U.S. push toward tech decoupling has even boosted the application of domestically made chips by Chinese smart device manufacturers, which is incentivizing local chip firms. In conclusion, the U.S.'s deal with the Netherlands and Japan to restrict exports of advanced chip-making machinery to China is unlikely to have any significant impact on the Chinese semiconductor industry. Despite mounting U.S. pressure, the Netherlands' leading lithography firm ASML stated that these measures would not have a material effect on their expectations for 2023. Furthermore, the global semiconductor industrial chain is based on broad collaboration and a global division of labor and China is already the largest semiconductor consumption market. Experts believe that the Netherlands and Japan, along with their companies, are unlikely to comply with the U.S.'s order to curb sales of chip machinery to China due to their massive revenue from the Chinese market. China, on the other hand, is ramping up its efforts to improve its tech capabilities in response to the U.S.'s push toward tech decoupling. China's semiconductor sector has been developing fast, particularly in terms of the mass production of 28 nanometer chips. Domestic firms have been able to independently produce widely used 28 nanometers chips and are working towards making breakthroughs in advanced 14 nanometers chips. Additionally, Chinese tech giants such as Huawei are constantly making advancements in chip technology, with the goal of addressing existing chip supply problems. In light of the U.S.'s continued push towards tech decoupling, it is essential for China to concentrate its resources and efforts towards seeking technological breakthroughs. While the U.S.'s latest move is unlikely to beat down China, it serves as a warning for Chinese semiconductor makers to prioritize their efforts towards self-reliance in the global semiconductor industry. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Let us know what you think in the comments section and if you have any other topic you want us to cover. See you in the next video.